a win. You must be really excited this morning. Yeah, we've woken up with a big smile on our face this morning. Um, girls are really excited for, for what's coming. The first two seasons you guys made it all the way to the grand final. You've been there before. What, what are you uh, explaining to girls about this week and, and the process of, of the grand final preparation? Yeah, like we've got, it's a completely different team to the last two times we've been there. Um, I think the message is just enjoy the week. Um, you know, the first year we was the first one for everyone, so we were a bit stressed in what we were doing, but it's time to just enjoy what we've just put in for the last 10 weeks of our season and, and really embrace it this week. For those girls who are part of the two losses, third time's a charm. Let's hope so, yeah. I really hope that that Foundation 8 can get some um, success that we deserve, yeah. How do you, how do, you do that? How do you turn that prize money to um, Well, this week we've, we're here today. We've just got to recover, um, really review the game from, from the weekend and um, watch their game as well and see what we can really counter-attack what they're doing. Um, we know we can beat anyone in this competition. Um, we've had some awesome battles with with Adelaide over the years, so we're really looking forward to it again on Saturday. So they've been the, the bench, benchmark for, for a couple of years now, pretty much from the competition. How do how do you beat them at Adelaide Oval, where it's going to be a pretty big crowd? Yeah, it'll be pretty hostile, I bet too. Um, you know, they've got some really key players, but they're similar to us in that they've got a lot of depth across each line. It's they're, they're not girls that are getting. 30, 40 touches, they've got a couple that do that, but the rest of them contribute. So it's just trying to play our game and um, trying to combat theirs as well and, and maybe shut down Aaron Phillips while we're at it. <laughs> you speak about those stars at Chelsea. Matt doesn't look like she's going to be there. How big a blow is that for them? Oh, that's so unfortunate for, for the Crows. Like, But it's showing that the AFL are taking this um, concussion really seriously and we're putting everyone's health first and it's it's Chelsea's one of the most likable players in the, in the game and one of the best players in our game so it is really unfortunate that she might miss it so um, but hope her, her health comes first yeah what about Adelaide does it hold on the ground does it hold any demons we haven't played at Adelaide Oval before but we haven't lost in Adelaide either um, every time we've gone there so like I said we love traveling we We've, we've travelled five times this year, won four of them, um, and that included a trip to Perth. So we love travelling as a group. We get around each other for, the, for three, three days this, this week, and, yeah, so we're, we're looking forward to it. Road Warriors. Yeah, we are, yeah. We love it. I can't remember the exact figure, but it was a massive crowd. Adelaide, yeah, I think it was 54,000. Can you even, like, process a 54,000 strong crowd and what that's going to be like? No, I, I think it's something that you have to be a part of to really let it sink in, and we haven't. We're, the biggest crowd we've been a part of is, is our first grand final, I think, with 15,000, and we thought that was unreal. So, yeah, it's going to be something that is really exciting to be a part of, and I hope that, I hope that they can break their own record. <laughs> how, big a journey, how big is it that this club has come back from the journey of... I mean, I'm, I think I remember a couple of weeks ago reading... It was 16 players in two seasons left this club, and now you're back here. Does that does that make it more special than, than the first two seasons making the grand final? Yeah, it does. Like we've lost a whole team over the years. We've lost a whole team of players, um, and to rebuild. I think it was last year the drafting that we did. We brought in we brought in some really crucial and important players that have stepped up this year, and to be able to be a part together for the last two years now. We've stepped up from last year um, when we just keep building and, and the young girls in particular, their development has shot through so much this season and they're a big part of why we're at the grand final this weekend. And I mean, you also got so many girls here who are Queenslanders. I mean, Dakota's, as an example, playing Quaffle and, and, and comes out of nowhere and, and now she's kicking three goals in a, a prelim final. Yeah. That must be pretty special. Yeah, the local talent in our league is going through the roof. So for Craig to identify that um, and say, no, this girl's got some talent um, and her to be shining this year, she's so important for us. And she just, to, to be able to take those marks and then finish her work, that's been something we might've missed a couple of years ago. Um, but we're so confident every time she lines up for a set shot that she's gonna nail it. So yeah, I love, love how Dax has developed this year. 
celebrations too. Oh, I love her celebrations. We get we get so much energy from her, so she's got to keep doing it. And I'm sure if she kicks on on the weekend, it'll be even better than any of them this year.